Exercise Iron Cyclone, on Wiltshire's Salisbury Plain Training Area, has recently reviewed how the British Army delivers training in what to train against, a pilot exercise designed to train the troops differently. It was more relevant, challenging and increased the combined arms competence of the force, a crucial element for success on the modern battlefield. The British Army reports. The King's Royal Hussars Battle Group Training Package involved elements from the 1st Battalion the Mercian Regiment, 26th Engineer Regiment, 19th Regiment Royal Artillery, with real-life support from 4 Regiment Royal Logistic Corps, 4 Armored Close Support Battalion Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers, and 4 Armored Medical Regiment, and was an opportunity to rebuild and grow as a new battle group. Lieutenant Colonel Peter Perown, Commanding Officer, King's Royal Hussars, KRH, who recently returned with his regiment from a six-month deployment on Operation Cabaret, part of NATO's Enhanced Forward Presence EFP, said, this exercise was about reinforcing the ability to war fight from the lowest level, taking the lessons we are seeing come out of Ukraine, and those we have learned as a battle group from Estonia. Ukraine has absolutely shown that the basic level skills are the bedrock of that, and this exercise was a real opportunity for us to build on those. The 3rd, United Kingdom, Division is the warfighting element of the British Army, the KRH Battle Group is a key part of that within the 12th Armoured Brigade Combat Team, and under Operation Mobilize is accelerating its efforts to modernize in order to become more lethal, agile, resilient, and expeditionary. Part of that was Exercise Iron Cyclone which aimed to blend initial trade training and subsequent trade training into collective training, through a future training pipeline to be better prepared and combat or mission ready to fight wars on lands. Captain William Howlett, Intelligence Officer, King's Royal Hussars said, This pilot exercise was a new concept and about streamlining an approach for the benefit of advancing junior soldiers, and to make more efficient use of our time, our resources, and get more people trained with less effort faster. For Trooper Matt Lang, who joined the Army last November, it has been about putting the practice into play, this was only my second mounted exercise in my career and involved me being deployed in the field for four weeks following our armored firing training at Castle Martin Ranges, in Pembrokeshire, Wales. Working on the Challenger 2 main battle tank has been very fulfilling, I never imagined myself doing something like this, it was exciting. I'll never forget my first day at the regiment, seeing the hangars and seeing all the tanks piled out, it was breathtaking. The training on Iron Cyclone was about regenerating basic skills and mastering combined arms competency and has prepared the KRH battle group for deployment in Europe next year. This exercise was the start point for this newly formed battle group, explained Lt. Col. Perown. The start of a journey that takes us through to Exercise Defender, which is a significant NATO deployment and test exercise in Europe of which the battle group will deploy as part of a US brigade combat team, to validate us to then be held at readiness.